Hey, Flathead, Flathead Terry here. Hey, in this episode, I'm going to install safety belts in my 1937 Plymouth Coupe. Of course, this car never had them in 1937, but for my own safety and my passenger's safety, I want to install them. Follow along as I go through the complete installation, and hopefully that you can find this uh, helpful in your installation of safety belts too. Thanks. Okay, the first thing I did was surf the web and came up with this website, seatbeltsplus.com, and they had a good selection there. Then I clicked on the two-point lap belts. Those seem to be right for my car. Okay, and once there, I scrolled down to the bottom of that page. And on that page, you'll find all kinds of information about the two-point lap belts and a little video too on how to install. I thought that was very informative, something good to look at initially just to get an idea of what uh, what's up ahead. Okay, here's the page where I ordered my belts from, 74 inch, of course the color is tan, and uh, also I ordered the installation hardware, Quantity 2 of course. Uh, it seemed like that hardware will match uh, the actual belts themselves, so I went ahead and did that as well. Okay, let's take a look and see what arrived. We have one complete belt assembly here. And here's the second one. Of course, I took the liberty of opening it up. I'll show you that shortly. Then I also ordered two of the installation hardware kits. Bolts and some lock washers and some very big fender washers as well. So that's the kit we got. And then let's take a look here on what we have. You have multiple colors at that site. So this is called tan. Uh, here, let me unravel it. A couple of things I want to show you. Uh, one of them is, here's the actually mounting bracket here. It's got a little angle, 30 degree angle on it. Same with the other side here. This particular one, of course, has the chrome latch. You can lift that up. Very simple. And there we go. So that's what we have. Snaps in there. So that's what's in the kit. Okay, what I want to do next is take a look at the bolt, mounting bolt. Get out my micrometer. Measure the distance here. Right around seven sixteenths, about. Got out my seven sixteenths and drill, very close. So seven sixteenths should work. Okay, what I did here was temporarily put the belts in its estimated location here. Uh, here's where they are. Here, let me get in the back seat here, or the back area. Kind of see where I placed them here and here and I'll have to go over to the other side. You can kind of see it over there. But my point here is that uh, there's plenty of room. These are the 74 inch. Uh, I have it extended to its furthest distance here. Um, and then also uh, most of the people I know are right handed. So when you release the lever, you're using your right hand to do that a little bit more comfortable. The other thing too is I like the color is very very close of course it's a little shinier maybe a little bit golder uh, than the original upholstery but uh, good uh, close enough okay here's the passenger side uh, so the general location will be right around in here what I haven't done is gone underneath the car to see what I have in front of me here there is a bolt over here you can barely see it off to the side that's part of the frame um, body mount so that goes right through here so uh, a couple of things i'm going to do next i need to take this out uh, see what's underneath uh, again it's original it's in pretty good shape uh, so i can see what i'm drilling into uh, next i need to crawl under the car and uh, see where these mounting bolts can line up okay let me carefully take out the rear mat here i don't know if this thing has ever been out Careful. 
extra mat from probably from the front. Okay, if we get this out, it's kind of a U shape. All right, here we go. There we go. All right, look at that. I guess everybody cleaned in 84 years. So let's uh, put this out in the driveway and kind of get a better look at it. Okay, well, there it is in all of its glory. It's in really good shape. There we go. I'll have to do some cleaning on that before I put it back in. Let's take a look inside here. Oh, yeah. All right, all kinds of goodies in there. So uh, now time to vacuum. Okay, before I vacuum in this car, I always go through thoroughly uh, in the debris. And uh, before I start running the vacuum, I just suck it up. Found these little trinkets. Uh, these are actually from cigarette packs. Uh, I'll do some research and uh, list them here. But uh, yeah, they had these little seals on there. Uh, that says Clinton down there. And here's a piece that would fit in here off another pack. Uh, this, I'm not sure what that is. It's like a T and a W. Uh, not much on the back. So. I'll have to do some more research, but I'm, I'm assuming it has to do with cigarette packs. So, there we go. Cool stuff. All right, much cleaner. It all vacuumed out. Much better now. So now the next thing I got to do is kind of reference something to help me with the guide hole or the mounting hole for the seat belt as it comes down here in this this area here. Uh, like I said, there's a frame bolt here, so I know there's a frame channel that goes right through here so I'd like to find a way to mount it somewhere in here but the thing is I got to kind of reference where I'm drilling to make sure I get it corrected so here's a little plug here uh, there's also an indention right here so if I go underneath and I move a certain distance in there maybe that will work let's take a look all right let's climb underneath excuse me I'll try to hold the camera the best I can but what I see underneath here, let's see if you can see it here. Okay. All right. So I, I see two plugs up here. Let's see. There they are right there. So what I can do, you have a lot of sheet metal here. Yeah, there's surface rust there, but uh, I think that'll work. We have the frame right here. You can kind of see it's right, right here in front of us here. Uh, right there. Over here. There it is. And what I'm finding is that if I go too far in, see if you can see that in there, there's a gap between the frame and the floorboard. So that's not going to work either. And it's too far in. So I know this is difficult to reference, but uh, I think what I'm going to do is use that uh, guy right here, that little pin right here, and then move a couple inches this way. And drill the hole here and uh, they give you a big washers and I guess the reason for that of course is try to not pull the bolt out so uh, I think that's where I'm gonna have to go uh, again let me go back up here and take a look I don't have a lot of options here the other goal here too is we don't want the seatbelt way inside here so it turns out the frame is about over here so that is gonna make it loop all the way around here um i'm not sure if that's a good idea or not so i think what i'll do like i said is here's this reference pin right here here's the indention right here and if i can move and drill a hole about here this will give a good angle to the outside of the seat i think that's our best our best bet so uh that's what i'm going to do
Okay, so what I ended up doing, I thought I'd just run a little test hole here. And let me show you where that turned up underneath. All right, here we are underneath. There you go. So what this did is give me enough room, a nice flat surface to get that big fender washer underneath there. Uh, enough room to do that. It's flat and secure. So my next attempt here is to drill that hole bigger and actually mount it. Okay, there's the hole. I didn't show any of the filming of me drilling, of course, the original car. This is very difficult for me, too, to, to drill holes. Um, but for the sake of safety and my own health, um, I think this is very important to do, get these safety belts in. So there's the hole. Uh, let me get it mounted. Looks like I have enough room here to put the bracket in right through here. Get the washers installed and uh, go from there. Okay, what I did with this side, same thing. Drilled a pilot hole over here. So that will fit in there right along that edge. Uh, so what I did underneath, there's two screws, one here and here. You can barely see them back over here. Uh, underneath, those were great as a reference point. So let me show you. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a couple of, there's the pilot hole there. And you can barely see the rusty screws up there too. I'll use a, a couple of arrows to point those things out. But anyway, uh, now I think I got it in the right position to uh, drill the main hole. Uh, what also gives me more confidence too, as you can see that sheet metal is underneath a lip um, on the other top part of the body. Um, so if this thing were to ever rip out, uh, it's gonna take a lot of force to do that. So, uh, a little bit better there. All right, now you can see where that hole is now. Now we go on to over here. All right, you can barely see that up there, but somewhere there is the drive shaft. Now I'm going to have to put a couple holes in for the seat belts there. Okay, you can see I made a pilot hole. It's right in the middle. The flat washer can lay flat, and uh, we're good to go. Okay, I have all four holes drilled. Now, the next activity is to clean this. Of course, that's all dusty. I showed you that before. Let's get that thing cleaned up. All right, it's a lot of cleaner. Uh, you can kind of see where the battery goes right there. But uh, it's a lot better. What I find interesting, too, is this nice circle uh, that's cut out here. Or maybe just something was set on there, very hot or heavy, that uh, put a nice indention in there. Also, here's the part number and uh, some more information on it. This logo there. Okay, I put the rear mat back in, back in position again. So now what I'm going to have to do is locate the holes right through here. And then carefully put a little X in here for the bolt to go through. Uh, just like modern cars, what they do is they mount that bracket uh, above the carpet or whatever the material is. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do here carefully. Just maybe put a little X pattern in there. Something small enough to get that bolt through. But try to keep the integrity of this rear mat uh, as uh, close to its original condition as possible. Okay, I've attached all the hardware, tightened them down from underneath there. They're all installed there. I'll go to the other side as well. Uh, also note that I installed the seat belts underneath the seat. Instead of them coming around here, it's just better if they come through the seat over here as well. So yeah, here they are, all installed now. Yeah, they fit pretty good as far as color size um, I'm really happy with it okay let's take a look underneath I'll show you what it looks like when it's done here there it is over there and then we scoot over here you can see the other ones over here there's one and then on the other side of that is that there we go 
Here it is on the other side, on the driver's side. It's pretty good. Again, it, I did minimal modifications to the existing uh, floor mat here. So uh, just a tiny, tiny little uh, crosshatch cut in there. Uh, if somebody were to take those out again, uh, they would almost practically seal themselves. So uh, anyway, good success there. Pretty happy with them.